Charlie Levine here. Today we're in uh, New Smyrna, Florida, testing out the new Everglades 315. This is a brand new boat for Everglades from the keel up. This is not a hull that they had been playing around with. This is an all new design, a bit bigger than the 285. It's got more beam, really fun to drive, and a lot of interesting features that will appeal to both, you know, hardcore fisher folks, as well as those who just want to cruise and enjoy the lifestyle. So let's check it out. Starting up at the bow, I really like the anchor locker and windlass. It's got a large locker for plenty of line and your windlass is uh, right here. There's also a windlass up on the digital switching screen. Close that guy. So looking back at the boat, you notice there's a large seat here. There's also two seats on either side, two bench seats, two forward seats. And it's pretty neat what they've done here. There's a table that goes in that bracket that can be set flush here to create a casting platform. Or you could set it up higher for entertaining and eating. And though there is of course uh, plenty of cold storage in here. This is all insulated. And you also, have a couple of cup holders and of course your charging port. Um, this is a, just a giant storage spot. Uh, pulling in, I really like, so this is built-in fender storage. You can put your fender clips right in here. It's got these cool little eyelets, or not eyelets, these little hanging locker things for line. And this is the table I was just talking about. So the table goes there and under one of these spots is also storage for the ladder that goes with the dive door again just really nicely done it's got teak accents beautiful stitching and upholstery work uh, wide wide side decks with C deck uh, you have more line storage in here and the, the space inside the console is quite big for a, for a 31 you've got a a nice head, full sink. There's quite a bit of storage down there. And those are actually vertical rod holders. There's four of them down here, which I thought was smart because a lot of rod and tackle storage gets thrown in here. That's a big tackle shelf or tackle storage spot. There's some great access to your systems. Let's jump in here. So you can see there's full access to all your fuses and switches. That's an amp for the stereo system. And here, this, this, this provides really easy access to the backside of the Garmin uh, twin screens. And this is your battery charger. And there's also a Sea Keeper module. So stepping back, um, the helm is just really nicely laid out. It's very clean with the digital switching, um, but I'm a little old school. I do like to have some switches. And so I really appreciate that your main switches for your horn, nav lights, windshield, washer, wiper, um, all that's right here. So yes, it's on the screen, but you know, if you need to hit the horn, boom, it's right there. Same thing. There are some important switches here, again, for your lighting and fresh water, raw water pumps. Uh, this is what I was talking about, though, as far as the digital switching. Uh, the guys were telling me that they laid this all out with the help of Garmin. And it's pretty smart how they did it because there's these three quick screens. So lights, you know, obviously you can control all your lights. And then for fishing, you've got pumps and things like that, system things monitor your holding tank and helm of course is sort of all of your you know lights and important stuff there um this windshield is controlled so it does go up and down let's let's show you how it goes down it's pretty neat so in florida it gets pretty hot another nice thing about having the windshield go down is so you can talk with the people who are up on the bow 
So you see that slides right down on a actuated ram. And then uh, once you get some airflow and you can say, you know, hey, if you've got somebody on the bow as you're docking to throw the lines, you, you can talk much easier instead of having to poke your head around the side and, and yell and scream. So I really did like that. We're gonna put that back up. Uh, the Garmin screens, uh, I wanna say these are 21 inch screens and it's, really nice they do have a few different packages you can choose from again the teaks accents uh, this boat is equipped with seakeeper ride there's also a seakeeper gyro um, and it's got twin mercury 400 v10 verados with the joystick functionality and the sky hook the boat can also be set up with a trolling motor on the bow so a lot of folks are doing that now with the larger trolling motors it really helps you stay put um, this the seats are really comfortable. It's got, you know, typical bolsters so you could sit full. And uh, this folds down to give you a couple more inches of visibility. But, I mean, the visibility is really nice on this boat. More storage here. I do like, whosever his idea it was to put these toe kicks in, I love it. It really helps you when you're fishing, you know, to have your feet there hold you in. This dive door is standard comes with a ladder these are there's two macerated fish boxes in the cockpit in the deck which is something new for a lot of Everglades boats uh, insulated standard comes with these mezzanine seats there is a freezer plate underneath here Let's see if we can get that open it's kind of heavy so this is uh, equipped with a freezer plate so if you want to keep your baits frozen obviously a nice drink box and then the bilge is just i really liked how the bilge is laid out so i want to show that to you so you know just really clean lots of space one thing everglades does that i think is really cool is they label all of the through holes so when you get back and you're you know you don't have to guess when you're turning these valves it's all labeled um, those are transducers twin chirp transducers you've got your batteries for the motors and your systems there is a sea keeper too in this boat um, and again it's just really well laid out everything on this boat drains extremely well. Every cup holder has a drain. There's drains everywhere that will either go right to the scuppers, which is a pretty impressive scupper, or out the through hulls. Um, there's two aft bench seats that fold out here. These fold out in nice seating here. Uh, twin live wells. I believe these are 30 35 gallon live wells you got um room for one two three four six rods there this is the power package the new verado 400 horse v10 outboards um, i also want to show this i thought was really smart so these little shower wash downs there's a raw water and a fresh water these pop out and this will run all the way up to the bow so if you wanted to, you know, go rinse something off up there, boom, it's, it's all right here, easy to get to. Another thing that I forgot to mention that I did think was pretty cool was the way they did the, the vertical rod storage up forward. Um, altogether, it's just a really nice boat, well laid out. I think Everglades really hit the nail on the head once again. Uh, the boat's really rigged up to fish. It's got... It's set up for electric reels and it's set up to entertain. It's got a little bit of everything. Nice storage in the T top, big hard top, lots of lighting, just well done. This is the freshwater wash down here. This is kind of smart too. So Everglades puts a little bit of Sea Keeper here along with the rod storage. So if your reels are, you know, bouncing against the fiberglass, they're not gonna scratch or do any damage. Just, they think of a lot. And this is the toe kick I mentioned. 
it's just a great tool when you're fighting a fish you can wedge your feet under here and it's got pretty pretty high freeboard and obviously nice bolsters uh, combing pads it, it's it's really nice I it ran it rides great we were cruising in around the 40 mile an hour range topped out about 55 and when we were trying some different maneuvers it, it really handled well and ran right on the on the rails just just a lot of fun to drive great boat this is the new everglades 315 center console